Hello friends. Welcome to our channel, Techwind. In this video, we are going to see how to use an old ADSL modem as a Wi-Fi extender coupled with an FTTHO new. So, that, you will be able to get Wi-Fi at long ranges. First, power on the ADSL modem, plug in the LAN cable or through Wi-Fi you can connect it to a laptop or PC. As usual, we are using the LAN to connect, because it is better when configuring. Open a browser, and enter the default IP address for the modem, which is usually 192.168.1.1, if it differs, it will be at the bottom of the modem for your reference. I'm using a D-Link DSL 2730U model modem here. So, the procedures are based on that. The basic things are similar in other ADSL modems. 1. Disable DHCP. 2. Change default IP address. 3. Configure the ADSL for bridge. So, with this modem, the default username and password is admin. Once, logged in you can see the status page. There is a default PPPoE1 which you can see here. Now, we are going to the setup tab, where normal the wizard is one which we use for the ADSL setup. Here, we no need that. Go to local network, LAN interface change the default IP address. This is because most ADSL modems or routers or ONU have the same IP address, 193.168.1.1, when, we couple them, they do not communicate so, it's better to change the IP address. If the IP address of your ONU and ADSL is different, leave it as such. No need to change. Remember, change the third set of digits. The first, second, and fourth set need not to be changed. Here I am changing it to 5.1 from 1.1. When, you click apply, you can see that the configuration page prompts you to enter through the new IP. Now the old IP cannot be used to enter. Enter the new IP in the browser, and sign in as usual. Since, we have changed the IP, which you can see here. Now, let's go to the DHCP settings. You can disable the DHCP, but, before that, set up up the bridge connection. Go to Internet Setup, Channel Configuration. Remember, the pathway may be different for different modems. But, the basic procedures are the same as said earlier. Here, delete the default PPPoE configuration. Create a new one with bridge configuration. Leave other things in one page as such. No need to change. Now, go to the DHCP server settings and disable the DHCP server. Now, everything is set. Take a LAN out from the ONU and plug in into any of the LAN ports of the modem. Now the remaining LAN ports and the Wi-Fi can be used to access the internet. Now, you can see, I've plugged a Huawei I ONU to the ADSL dot and the ADSL is connected to the laptop. The laptop shows the Huawei I connection only.
you can see that the Huawei IP address is opening in the window. But there is a catch here. Once you have disabled the DHCP in the ADSL modem, you can't access the configuration page of the ADSL modem anymore to have a quick understanding of this, the DHCP allots the IP addresses to the device connected to the modem. Once, you've disabled it, it doesn't allot IP. So you can't access. But, when you couple another modem or ONU, it can access the DHCP of the other device and work. That's the concept here. To access the configuration page of the ADSL, which is not necessary after you bridged it. But for people who need it, go to settings, network and internet, change adapter settings here, double click on ethernet. Properties, IPv4, use the following IP address and the enter the same IP of the modem with only the last term changed. Any number other than one. And the gateway is the same as the IP address apply it. Now, you will be able to access the configuration page of the ADSL modem. But, to use internet through LAN on the laptop, you have to again set the ethernet adapter to obtain IP address automatically. To avoid this, when you disable the DHCP server, apply it to one of the LAN ports. This modem has four ports, I've applied DHCP to one port and disabled it on others and Wi-Fi. Now, one port can be used to access the configuration page of the modem. Leaving three ports and Wi-Fi. If you plug in the LAN cable in any of the other three ports, two ports, and Wi-Fi can be used to access the internet from the ONU. It is bit complicated. But, if you understand, it'll be easy. If you like the video click on the like button. If you have any doubts, comment down here. And please don't forget to subscribe our channel.